Well, under arrest, Baltimore police say they know who is responsible for a violent stabbing at a Federal Hill bar, leaving several people hurt, one person in serious condition. WJZ is live in Federal Hill. Amy Yancey has the latest on that suspect. Amy. Well, Marcus, the suspect is in custody, but police say he should not have been at that bar in the first place because he's only 17 years old. Bloodshed and panic at a popular Friday night hangout. The violent brawl and stabbing inside Bandidos leaves four people hurt and chaos on South Charles Street. After a swift investigation, Baltimore police arrest 17-year-old Sean Guzman on Saturday. They say the teenager from Baltimore County stabbed three other men inside the busy bar. The dispute started inside of the bar uh, between the suspect and two other people. Um, as a result of that, the argument escalated to the point where two victims were stabbed and a bouncer was stabbed as well. Uh, that fourth male that we earlier mentioned was actually the suspect who accidentally cut himself. Guzman and two others suffered non-life-threatening injuries, but one victim is in serious but stable condition. It was in the hospital that investigators discovered that Guzman was not a victim, but the actual suspect. People in Federal Hill are rattled by the bloodshed. I definitely feel like we're going to have to keep our eyes out now and be a little bit more cautious. It's obviously not the best feeling in the world, thinking that that can happen when you're so close. Guzman is facing three counts of attempted murder and three counts of aggravated assault. Charges police say would have never happened if he had kept his cool and kept out of a place not meant for minors. He put himself in a bad situation in a bar where obviously he knew he didn't belong, uh, where there was alcohol being served and, and things got bad and now again he had problems to face. And Marcus Guzman is the only suspect. Police say they don't know what weapon he used. We're live in Federal Hill. Amy NC, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Amy, thank you. And Bandito's management tells WJZ they have no comment on the incident.